Meanwhile, ODM party leader Raila Odinga has criticized Deputy President William Ruto for his early 2022 campaigns and his opposition towards the Building Bridges initiative. Raila has also dismissed the Wilbur movement that is being fronted by the Deputy President. On his side, Ruto has said many young people have been left jobless and those opposing his initiatives have nothing better to give to young people. Van Mangwena reports. Speaking at the Kisi State Lodge earlier today, where he received the BBI report alongside President Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga seized the moment and addressed critics who have rubbished the BBI report as a waste of time. We are going to talk to the people of Kenya. The Kenyans must know the truth that this, since you see what was in, Mimi ndugu yangu tuliamua tutaenda njia hii kwa sababu tunajua hii ndio njia ya kukomboa Kenya. Raila Rabish the Wilbaro and Mkokoteni initiatives that are being championed by the deputy president William Ruto saying it is in bad faith because Ruto has been in government for the last 8 years. If you are really concerned why do you give them wheelbarrows? Why don't you give them a helicopter? If you find a country a nation where a wheelbarrow becomes a national conversation, it tells you there is a problem and we must confront it and we must have a discussion about it and we must sort it out. We can no longer live in denial. There is an issue we must sort out. According to Raila, BBI will address issues affecting Kenyans, including gender equality, and that people from all parts of the country were involved in coming up with the reforms. Issue of gender uh, inclusivity, for example, in parliament. And we say that we take parliament as an institution, National Assembly and the Senate. And then once we put that together, then we deal with the issue of gender parity there. Thank you. The BBI report will be launched to the public on Monday at the Bombers of Kenya. Asante sana. Fatma Nguena, Switch TV.